I think the mistake so many entrepreneurs make when they think about culture is they think their job is to preserve their startup culture. It's like, oh, as long as we can kind of hang on to the things that like made us a really good startup, uh, that's going to be success in terms of a successful culture. And I think that's misguided. Um, the way we think about it at HubSpot is that we think of culture as a product. There are two products every, company's, every company builds. One is the one for their customers, and the other product is the one they build for their people. And if you think about that in that way, they're like, oh, well, no product is ever done. That means culture is never done. If you think of it, if you accept the thesis that culture is a product, you would never build a culture or a product without talking to customers on a regular basis, getting feedback. And so we do this. Uh, we have an NPS survey, a Net Promoter Score survey, that we do for all of our customers. Have been doing it since time t equals zero. We do the exact same thing internally for our people. So we ask every quarter for 12 years on a scale of zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend HubSpot? And the second question is, why did you give that score? And so we look at the, that input and we'll iterate. It's like, oh, here are things that are bugs in the product. Here are bugs in the culture. So people are coming back and saying, yeah, I know we used to do it this way or we've been doing it, but it just doesn't work. It's not, it's not working. And then we have feature requests. And then we have things that go into the works as designed. I know you don't like this, but that's just how this particular product is built. Maybe HubSpot's not the right company for you.